Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting video for you because I am going to be unboxing Vesemay's Cosmetics Sleeping Beauty Collection. I had to bite the bullet and buy it because I really wanted to get my hands on it because I'm obsessed with Sleeping Beauty and I love the beautiful mirror and everything that it comes with and I feel like it just suits my style and aesthetic. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. And this is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, so please don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. And also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and say hello. I linked everything below. Alright, let's jump right in and talk about the new Sleeping Beauty collection from 1959, which was created by Besame Cosmetics. The first thing I noticed in the collection is this really cool newspaper that comes with the whole collection. And it kind of talks all about the collection talks about Sleeping Beauty, and it talks about the beautiful lipstick included, and it talks about some Besame girls. Also, I've never been to the boutique, but I'm dying to go. It sounds amazing, it looks super vintage, and apparently they do classes too. And on the back, it also shows you how to create Aurora's look from Sleeping Beauty, as well as Maleficent's look. So that was really neat and it kind of shows you which products to use and then it kind of is a photo of all the things included. So I'll definitely be keeping this as it's kind of like a part of the whole collection. Out, I'm going to start out with this beautiful locket. It's like a very solid metal locket. And the way it sits, probably, it's not too long, it's kind of mid chest. And it has like a picture of Sleeping Beauty on the back. And then the front says Sleeping Beauty with little flowers and then it's like a soft kind of cream blush and a beautiful kind of bright pink that kind of reminds me of something from the 1950s you see. So this is the first item which I love. Moving on is this beautiful Sleeping Beauty hand mirror. It feels very substantial in weight and it's all made out of metal. I love the shape and all the jewels on it. Everything's beautiful and has like lots of attention to detail and it says Besame on the handle. Definitely feels like a quality mirror and I think it'll be a beautiful addition to my collection that kind of just suits my whole style. So I had to get the mirror. It's like something I just knew I wanted. I just love it. It's like a beautiful vintage inspired mirror. It definitely is a recreation from the film. And the most exciting thing is the Sleeping Beauty book. This is a replica of the book in the beginning of the 1959 film. Apparently the book in real life is like huge, it's massive. I was listening to the Besame Cosmetics podcast and they talked all about this collection. And I just, I think it's beautiful. When you open it up, it has this really nice mirror in the front that looks romantic with the flowers around it. And then it has a picture of Aurora with all of the different colors for like the brows eyes, her lips, the blush, and everything like that. And I like it how it's this clear film on top, so it's almost like an animation cell. And then inside there's also a picture of Maleficent, um, talking about her colors, and then it kind of has a behind the scenes making of the book and everything, and it shows like vintage, um, like the animations and the cell drawings as well and then it kind of has like a brief history and then when you go over to the next page it kind of talks about all the different colors so you know what all the colors are for both characters and here are all the beautiful eyeshadows there's so many fun colors um i'm really drawn i think the greens are really interesting like the bright lime greens i want to try those with eyeshadows there's lots of also like very neutral pinks this looks really fun. I'm excited to try it. I just think it's very beautifully and well, and well done. I'm actually kind of scared to almost use it because I know it is a collector's edition. Obviously, I'm going to because I have no control and I want to try them on. But it is definitely, if you're a collector, this is something I would highly recommend getting. It's a beautiful book. This is a beautiful, it's like a translucent lucent powder. And it's Aurora's translucent powder. I love the blue on the front with the old illustration and then inside there's a little mirror and then there's like the gold little pop it looks very bright pink but I have a feeling it definitely goes on like it kind of covers itself up and goes on sheer and it gives you nice color but 
apparently after listening to the podcast aurora had a very pink skin tone so it kind of adds a lot of pink to your skin in a good way though it makes you look like you have color and it makes me sad because i wrecked the puff now see this is my problem i don't want to like wreck the collector's edition anyways so that is the powder and these are the beautiful blushes so there's two really kind of I like this light bright pink and then there's a darker one and these are two like highlighting ones. I think you could probably even use them on your eyes as well. They'd be perfect on your cheekbones for a little highlighting. And the front, it looks like an animation cell because there's several layers to it which was really interesting. Came with three different lipsticks. One of them is Aurora's lipstick, one is Mouth and Scent, and the other is the lipstick that starts off blue and goes pink. Aurora's lipstick is very beautiful. It's like a classic pink. Um, it's very like a neutral pink. I think it would go really well on most skin types. And also I love the classic too. It says Sleeping Beauty on the outside with all the little hand done illustrations. And this is Maleficent's lip color. It's like a darker pinky red. But again, it's very nice, it's very um, neutral, I think it would look good on most skin tones. The most exciting one to me is a blue one. I'm wearing it now and it's actually really nice, it's like a kind of bright pink. But when you put it, see it looks blue now, when you put it on it turns pink. And it actually turns a bit of the lipstick pink up as well, but I really like it. I actually like the pink, it's like a very late 1950s color. I just watched a few of these, but I thought about doing a longer video playing with some of these colors a bit more in depth. This is kind of like an unboxing and my first look at the collection. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos. I'm going to swatch the lipsticks and some of the eyes shadow colors and maybe some of the blush just so you can kind of have a general idea of it. And then I think I'm going to dive into it a bit more for some other videos to kind of show you more of the eyeshadow colors, stuff like that, and play around with some looks and maybe recreate some of them from the movie. Let me know what you think of this collection. Have you bought any of this? Have you tried any other Besame Disney collections? Um, I'm really excited about this and I just love the way it looks with all my decor. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!